Happy guinea pig! Alright! Hi, Molly, and welcome to my kitchen. Happy 4th of July. I know it's the day after, Fourth but... July. Fourth. We'll just say 4th of July weekend. Well, and right now it's the 4th of July. Yeah, by the time they Boom, see boom, this, boom! So by the time they see this, though, it will be after 4th of July. Uh, Whoopty dupty. This is my cookout, y'all. I'm not cooking out. I'm cooking in on the grill in the oven. Um, I was going to do some baked beans, but y'all, it's just too hot in here to heat up at the top of and to cook baked beans and then cut on the grill here and heat this up. Uh, so we're not doing baked beans. Yeah, I'm already sweating. Yeah, we are doing uh, steak and shrimp on my grill in my oven. I'm going to let my steak cook a little bit, then I'll put the shrimp on. Steak and shrimp. And then with that, I am doing a broccoli corn salad, which is my invention. I mean, others may have done something like this, but I'm using what I have on hand. And uh, this is how I'm going to do it. The piggy's over squeezing the bottle for the dish detergent. If y'all oh, heard darn, that I thought they were going to mistake that for a fart. Um, this right here is some fresh corn. This is three ears of fresh corn that has been cut off the cob. Um, yeah, what I did uh, is I... Uh, blanched the corn for about 10 minutes in some boiling hot water. Uh, I boiled my water, added my corn, and of course the boiling went down, but I started the 10 minute process and it cooked for 10 minutes uh, and it, it's great y'all. So there's three ears of corn that's been cut off the cob. Here I have one tomato that has been diced up. Oh, uh, piggy's gonna tilt so y'all can see. Okay, three ears of corn. One tomato. Sorry. Here, here I have about uh, one and a half to one and three fourths cups of broccoli that has been uh, cut off the stem. It's just a little florets. It's been cut in small bites. And that's. I was, I was distracted. And she caught me off guard. This is what I had on hand. That's what I'm using. Here I have two cups of cauliflower. Again, cut off the stem. And it's just a little floret parts of it. This is squash. This is one about medium sized squash and it wound up being about one and a half cups that has been fine diced, well not fine diced, but small diced I'll show you, good diced. Here I have three radishes that I have diced Ooh. and this right here is about three fourths cup of diced onion and it was about, I wouldn't even say three fourths, it's maybe about two thirds of a cup, a little bit less than three fourths I guess. Uh, but it was uh, a piece of an onion that I had left that I just chopped up. Okay, so that's going to be for my salad, broccoli corn salad. Here I have a partial pack of shrimp that Piggy has. Uh, well, it's about half a pack. You used the other half pack, something else. Yeah, yeah I used the other half on another vi uh, video. Uh, but I had put some Piggy's The Rub salt free on here, and I will grill it in the oven. Here I have a flank steak that I bought to use part of for it. The uh, shrimp and the steak were both used for the pineapple rice video that I made. And as you can see, I have put some uh, I put some kosher salt and some piggy's to rub salt free on the steak and I've let it sit. Okay, now for the dressing for my salad. I have some mayonnaise, some minced garlic, kosher salt. I've got some minced ginger. I have a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. I have some Dijon mustard and I have a lime for some lime juice. Okay, let me pause that. Piggy, can you hand me the tongs, please? Tongs! Yep. Okay. Good thing you didn't put an H in there. Yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't work. <laughs> Now I've got the oven part set for 15 minutes. And what I'll do is I'm gonna let this cook for about seven minutes on each side, seven and a half, something like that. But as you can see again, and I hope y'all can hear that nice sizzle on that. Again, oh yeah. This is flank steak. It is one that I bought for something else. Not use this half of it for this. Ooh, hot now, hot hot. He's hot. He's hot. All right. Now when that gets down to the about the eight minute mark, I'll cut this on. Let this side preheat for the shrimp. 
Then you can have all that right there, and I'll set this right here for the shrimp. Oh, goody, thank you. Shrimp will be sitting right there. Y'all see how nice she is to make, give me trash and dish, dirty dishes to clean up. Well, yeah, out. somebody's got to have them. And I'm busy doing something else. All right, so before I start with my salad dressing, I'm going to go ahead and mix all my components together, my corn and all of my veggies. And y'all, I love fresh vegetables. I love the colors. These, this is going to be good. I already know that. I'm like that old lady on the Wendy commercial. Where's the beef? In the oven. Piggy likes the beef too, you know. I'm okay, man. I like the beef. I like meat. Hey, I, I like having the beef with the other stuff. I like having pork, beef, chicken, as long as there's the meat with it. Okay, I'll put the radishes in there. Y'all, this is going to be very colorful. Hey, I thought that was my job. Well, you are the color of commentary there on the side. Uh, and the onion. Gotta have an onion, yeah. Now, you can put green onion, red onion, whatever color onion you want. But I said, this is what I have on hand. The only thing that I bought, I bought the corn the other day when I saw it at the grocery store because I knew I wanted to do a corn salad and I knew I had some broccoli. At that point, that was the only thing I planned on putting in it was broccoli and corn. But I got the thing. I do apologize for the noise in the background, but you'll hear it in every video because while she's doing that, I'm back here doing the dishes to keep up with her so they're done when she's done. That's it. Um, again, the reason everything else is I had it on hand and I need to get down to my refrigerator. Now look how pretty and colorful that is. That is so colorful. And I'm going to move this off to the side right here, put it back up there. That'd be good with some meat to go with it. Yes, it will. Alright. So I'm not measuring anything, I'm just gonna put what I think I want. You know, it's just gonna be a look to see as much as I've got. I don't want it to be doused in a dress and just kind of coated in it, you know, lightly coated. Where you get a little light flavor of dressing with the veggies. Yeah. In case I need more mayonnaise, I'll say that. Yeah, you don't want to taste just dressing. I don't want to taste just dressing, and I like the idea of having a little bit of flavor. Ooh, yeah, right. Italian right. food or pizzas. I don't want to taste just marinara sauce. I prefer not to taste the marinara sauce at all. It's okay if it's very lightly done. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind a light coating of pizza sauce on my pizza. They like to overdo it. Yeah. Where all you taste is marinara. Yeah. That's what it's all about. It's like piggies a rub. It brings out the natural flavor of food and don't take a lot to do it. So you're not really tasting the rub. You're tasting the food. Now if you have other flavors, flavors you like to add to that, that's fine and great. You add it on top of the rub. But that's the whole point, is to bring out the flavor of the food. Yeah. Like I said, yeah, I'm not adding much garlic or ginger, maybe about a half a teaspoon. I'm sweating like a stuck pig. Yeah, I'm look around, I'm trying to make sure I ain't stuck. I start saying, the piggy is stuck, the piggy is stuck. Okay. Put, him, piggy put this stuff right here back in the refrigerator for me here in just a minute. Put a dash of that in there. All this go back in here? Yep, those three do. And then I'm going to put... I'll try to figure out where it goes. A little bit of kosher salt in there because none of this stuff in this bowl has been salted. And I know we need, really need to make sure the fresh corn is salted. Okay, now I'll wipe off all that wet right there. And I'm like I said, I'm keeping the mayonnaise off to the side in case I need my extra here in a minute. What's that? What? What? Yeah. Yeah. This? Yeah. This is my dressing that I'm going to put. Uh, That's the mayonnaise, the garlic, the ginger, the Worcestershire See, folks, y'all can tell I've been doing other stuff and not looking at this. You can all pay attention to what I say I'm doing, y'all. Folks, she can't say a whole lot on that. She does the same thing to the piggy. Yes, I do. Come here, fork, piggy. Huh? Come here, fork. Fork! Is this a word by fork situation? Yep. Okay. Work on Danny Stone. 
I'm a guinea pig! Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you, it's been an eventful fourth for us so far. We've been busy. Well, yeah. And had to wait till this kind of evening hit to cook because it's just been too hot to get in this kitchen and cook. I'm saying. I just tell you, the pig is wet right now. Yeah. We went and been waiting. Was told two, two months of, or more ago. It was sometime in April or May. About some old recliners that my neighbor got. Still in good condition. They a little dirty. And we wanted them. Sure, we'll take them. Two months plus later, on the 4th of July, no less, we get a message asking, you know, if we still interested in those recliners. They suggesting I get a truck off somebody I don't talk to and don't want to be beholden to in any kind of way. Said, well, let's come down there and take a look at them, see what we can figure out. We got them out of there, and one at a time, I opened up the trunk, put the back seats down in that little car. I put the top back parts of them down through there and and the bottom body part of them sticking out a little bit and one at a time we got them up here to the house got them out and we got them in the house made room for her but yep. on the fourth people come on two plus months he even went live for a little while on his channel yeah taking down an old disc that i'm going to redo later on yeah and uh everything Talking about it. it has some stupid young idiots get on there and <laughs> Piggy had to get me. Oh my god. Okay. Piggy don't mind ignorance, folks. But when you got willful ignorance based off assumption and don't know what you're talking about or understanding of what you're talking about, uh Piggy ain't got time for that and he gonna tell you you're stupid. Alright, now I don't know what y'all can see on this. Piggy still got you pointed down, so I don't know if you see me, see this. Yes, uh, they see you stir in that bowl. Okay, well I'm fixing to taste this to see how it tastes, if it needs anything. Alright, that's periscope. Took a second to hit. No, it hit fine. Just tell me if you think it needs anything, Piggy. I mean, it's not overpowering, it's, it's got a good flavor. Ooh, I gotta put my paws out. I gotta put my steak. Okay. Mm. It's kind of got a lot of twine to it that I like. Yeah. There you go. So, you don't think it needs anything else? I wouldn't think so. Put a little bit more juice, lime juice in it, I should say. Just get the rest of the lime juice out. Stir it back in. And I'll need that uh, scraper when you get done with it, Piggy. Oh, yeah, the little extra lime that I just squeezed in there was really that, yeah. That, that hit for me. That put it over? Put it over for me. Yeah. Just that little extra line. Just that little extra. Put it over the top. Yep. And the good thing about it is, while the shrimp are cooking, the steak can be resting. Because that's a tip I learned now about steaks. When you cook a steak, you do not want to eat it right after it comes off the grill or out of the oven or out of the skillet. You want to let it sit and rest for just a little bit so that the juices can kind of do what they're supposed to do. Y'all remember that it. empty mayonnaise jar she got rid of? Hey, look at that. It's cleaned out. Yeah, now people going to throw it away. Yep. Oh well, this is going to be good, y'all. I can tell it already. 
I go ahead and get a lot of this stuff right here. Yes, have it get that out of the way, get it washed. Get it done and out of the way. Yep. Drawback is I do have a lot of stuff over here that needs to be dried. But. Okay. Well, y'all, we're going to take a break until the steak and shrimp get done. And all I'm going to do is when this goes off, put the shrimp on that little grill, put it in the oven for about five minutes and let it cook. I'm going to put this in a different bowl. And when we come back, we'll be ready to eat. So, we'll see you in just a second. All right, y'all, it's done. It looks good. Dun, 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 dun. I got it plated. It's going way back here. I zoomed it out. Oh, yeah. I'm taking up some frame out right there, buddy. All right. All right. We got it. Y'all know right. what time it is now. Move this off to the side. Give Piggy a fork. I got a fork. First thing I'm going to try is a salad, y'all. All right. Can't wait to try it with that corn while you talked about it. That's good. Oh yeah. It'll probably be better cold. But that is good. And it's not overpowered by the dressing I put on it. Lightly favored. It would be far better with being cold. Mm -hmm. But, but. As mm -hmm. is. That dressing, mm -hmm. it lightly flavors it just right. Mm -hmm. Steak. Flavor is on point. Mm. All the problem for me is the heat. Weather-wise, makes it hard for me to eat. That's all right. Food. We can fridge this and wait until it gets cool and we eat. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I, I put, put a piece of that shrimp in my mouth and folks, my, my, my eyes rolled in the back of my head. I'm good. Shrimp. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now you understand what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, this is our 4th of July dinner. I hope everybody had a great 4th. Mm. Hope everybody has a great weekend. That, that, mm. Folks, that steak is just, it's almost as good as the shrimp. <laughs> Again, I hope everybody had a great 4th of July day. Whether it be whatever you had to eat, spending time with family and friends, fireworks, whatever. I hope y'all had a great day. And I hope you have a great weekend. So thank you for watching. And everybody have a great day. Bye, y'all. Uh... Bye, y'all. We're fireballs.